Why have I started doing this? Is it because I'm by <laughs> enjoyable? <laughs> Hi pals, it's me again, Artie, and I am bringing to you some disability aid sort of update stuff. I'm just fucking covered in dog hair. Also, my t-shirt is just not sitting right, and I don't know what's happening here, but there we go. So since my last video, I've had a few updates. Well, I mean, my last video I recorded quite a while ago, but it only went up maybe a month ago maybe not even that but this time i have more more stuff more things to talk about that i've been trying out some updates of old things and then just some random suggestions as well so here we are i'm first gonna like talk about these earbuds from flare audio so they now specifically do a new kind of flare calm earplug for autistic people and I don't know if they are any better than these, but I thought they were okay. Um, I had a question on my last video asking about um, if your like speaking voice is muffled when you're wearing them. I would say no, or at least not really much, but I wore them out to a doctor's appointment and the fire alarm went off and I still absolutely shit myself. So they really don't take the edge off of any noise <laughs> any loud immediate scary sudden noise so like not gonna lie i'm a little bit pissed because i have two pairs and i feel like they don't really do anything like i'm i wanted them so i could wear them out with people where i'd be speaking to people like friends family or whatever instead of wearing headphones because i can't wear headphones and listen to music whilst i'm out with people but like honestly <sighs> It, does, it doesn't make enough of a difference i just don't i don't know how i feel about them now and i'm a bit, bit pissed off so i feel like these were a bit of a waste of money i think at like 20 pound a pair which isn't isn't like super expensive but it is very irritating i wanted to talk about these briefly so these are like anti-sickness pressure point wristbands like people use them for travel sickness they're called c-band the natural choice for nausea relief oh my god hello um c-bands may be used repeatedly or worn continuously and can be hand washed during a mop during using a mild detergent prolonged use may cause swelling of the hands um provides effective drug-free relief from many forms of nausea including travel motion and morning sickness is also been found to be effective for the symptoms of nausea resulting from anesthesia and chemotherapy so it uses acupressure points in the wrist so that's what the little like bump is it goes onto the pressure point on your inner wrist um and you can put them on before you're expecting to become nauseous or seasick or whatever or when you start feeling seasick um there's a little thing of how to find the acupressure point so i feel like that might be a little bit high um low key i think you can get these from boots and they're kind of expensive but i think you can get them online or oh, i don't like how that feels so i'm gonna take that off <laughs> don't have the time or energy to figure out why that feels weird so you're supposed to put your three fingers starting at like your wrist crease and you're supposed to put it like here that's very low that's very low i've got very fat wrists you have to wear them on both wrists for it to be effective um, it can take between like two and five minutes to become effective and you can add extra pressure yourself so i just wanted to talk about them because i see a lot of people talking about nausea especially when it comes to crohn's whether it's just um flare symptoms or meds and things like that and this is one of my like go-to things that i do i haven't had to use them in a while so i don't really remember how effective they are but you know sometimes it's just the thought that helps um but i think you can buy them on amazon or something pretty cheap but yeah so if you are someone who deals with a lot of nausea and doesn't want to keep taking pills or the pills don't work um high recommendation of trying these out so i bought a bunch of these like 
glasses adjustment things because my spare pair of glasses doesn't have like nose pads like these and then neither does my sunglasses so i wanted to try them out and see if any of these things worked i've got some clips of me first doing it so i've put these on the backs of here it's supposed to help keep them in place on your head so they don't fall off your face um and i also stuck little nose pads in here like you can't even really tell that i've done that as well so um and i have been wearing this pair around more than my sunglasses even though i the prescription is old tip me on coffee so i can <laughs> replace some more glasses lenses because i think i need another eye test anyway but yeah i've been wearing these a lot more and i'm not sure whether it's just the back or just the front or like the mixture of the two they definitely don't fall down my face like they used to like they constantly would be down the end of my nose and like you can get different kinds of kits so i bought a kit with like a mixture of clear and black sticky things and a bunch of other stuff just to give it a try because i did use the bigger nose pads i think on both of these and they were just a bit too big but also keep your eye out on my vintage i might sell them because i don't think i need the entire kit but i i felt like i needed options to try a few things out so that's this pair i find that they've actually started to you know sit more comfortably and they are the sticky kind of silicone but not like an aggressive sticky silicone you can get silicone ones like these um but i abhor them they because i had them on this pair of glasses at one point before i realized that that's what they put on i didn't know they existed because i always have like the smooth ones so when i realized that that's what was going on with this pair of glasses every time i would take them off one they literally stuck to my skin whereas this these don't really stick to the skin or like not aggressively and they would like leave really really huge red marks on my nose like indents um so i was like hmm, fuck off take these off i don't want them here <laughs> nobody asked um so it, then the sticky nose pads on these are not the same they are definitely a lot more comfortable and so i also did that on here um but you can see them on this pair which i was a bit like sad about the other pair they're a bit more disguised but you can kind of see the dents so um we're just gonna have to keep seeing how it goes with wearing them i had these recently adjusted by my opticians whatever dispenser or i think that's what they're called but like for me i need really big sunglasses to block out as much light as possible because like the main reasons i wear sunglasses is <laughs> migraines uh and also obviously just because sun sunshine being outside and i'm very light sensitive so i just need the the biggest ones possible and most of them just do not come with individual like nose pads or they just ugly as fuck or just like absolutely not not my vibe so this was the best i got um apparently this is too big for my head like <laughs> which is not uh i'm not a problem i tend to face i have a very large head nothing fits my head so it's normally the other way around that's an issue is that everything's too small for my ginormous noggin but apparently this pair is actually just too wide so we have to make quite a lot of adjustments to get the arms to fit properly they are just not they just don't sit on my fucking wonky head properly it's more of like how they feel they feel like they tilt this way and that they are more squashed against this eye so i don't know but i feel like the sticky nose pads help a lot because again they slide down my face all the time um i also have a really really <laughs> i have a i have a tiny little like nose bridge i did not know this until spec savers told me because they just could not figure out how to adjust my glasses it's like wow this is why i have a private optician because <laughs> you're all fucking shit on the high street so yeah i didn't know i had a very small like nose bridge uh, apparently it is very common in children and asian people so tiny nose club am i right lads um i mean i remember once someone said that i have a nose that james charles would be um jealous of so <laughs> 
if I can find that screenshot, I will put it on the screen because I definitely saved that. I found that absolutely hysterical and that was a few years ago. Yeah, there we go. I'm not sure if I want to use the round bits on the end here yet because they have just recently been fitted for my giant head properly again. But you know, if they, because a lot of glasses tend to loosen up over time, if and when they do, I can use those sort of round ones on these, on those sunglasses, you know, swap them around, whatever. But that's just something I thought was really, really minor. But like, I've had these issues with glasses that don't have like, um, the separate nose pads for years and nobody's mentioned these. Like, nobody's mentioned this as a possibility. They're literally just stick on. Like the nose pads, they're just stick on nose pads. And like, why did nobody tell me? Like, even my optician, even my opticians didn't mention that it was possible. Um, I think somebody made an offhand comment once um, and it kind of just lingered in my brain until suddenly I went, hold on, let me go try that. Let me go have a look if that's the thing. So there we go, glasses friends or sunglasses friends um, who need help with that sort of thing. And now we're going on to my fingers. Um, I do, I, I've forgotten again the compression gloves, but I'm not about to get up to go and show you them. Um, but basically I saw my OT, I'm going to do like maybe a more specific video on that whole session and the booklets and the exercises some other time if that's something you would be interested in i have very hypermobile fingers hands joints in my you know in in my hands so if that's you know an issue you have and would like to hear more about my experience of seeing and having an ot who's a specialist in hands and hypermobility let me know in the comments because it I'm not ready to talk about it just yet because I'm like still very early on in figuring it all out but I did want to talk about some of those things here because they're to do with like disability aids that I wish I'd known about years ago because my hands have always been like this I haven't just become wobbly they've always been like this like writing has always been so painful and I grew up in the era I mean I don't know whether this is still like a thing do people still have to use pens in school or can you type now but you know oh but you know for example like trying to write like really fucks up my finger joints um and doing that for eight hours a day at school um was the worst but anyway so i have got these compression gloves she sent me a pair but they're a bit too big so i brought them with me as well as my grand's pair because my grand also has a pair from the same ot but my gran says that hers are too small, but mine fit her more comfortably. So I sort of brought both of the pairs to my OT and was like, you know, I'm willing to try compression gloves, but I feel like they're a bit too big. I showed her, they're quite baggy around, like they're baggier on some fingers than others. They're quite loose on like the wrist. Um, so I then showed her like the difference with the other pair that are my grand's. Um, again, they're loose on some fingers, tight on others. We tried on another pair um, that they have there. Um, it was just sort of the same issue. So she was like, well, I'm happy for you to use your grand's pair and you can give your pair to your grand. So we did, we're gonna do, we've done a swap because my grand finds the, the pair that she was given are just too tight. But I think the compression gloves would be beneficial for her arthritis like hand pain. Uh, my mum has a pair of her own compression gloves too. Um, and because I've been using mine, she's remembered she has a pair as well and I started using them more and found relief in hand pain too um I don't know how much they will help me but I'm willing to try it out um so we're very early on in it but you know we're vibing my OT did also say that if I'm really just not getting on with the gloves that she's given me there are ones on Amazon that fit better that she would recommend I look up the 100% cotton so I think it's just that they stretch better and are more fitted to your hand. Whereas the ones that I have are like sewn, they have like seams all down them. So they don't quite like stretch as much. It's hard to explain. So yeah, I'm gonna keep going with the ones I've got at the moment. If it's not doing much, I might buy a pair from Amazon. Oh God, I need to burp again. Um, but again, I'm poor. 
um, so that's not a, an immediate need right now. Um, I can't remember what this stuff is called, but it's a type of tape that sticks to itself. Um, my OT said that it's something that I can try for my joints as well. So you wrap it around the joint to give it some support, but I'm not very good at this because I just end up cutting off the circulation to my finger. But I have, this is the one that she gave me so I could try it and obviously she's not gonna take it back, but like, um, I think we have some at, like here at home to try out. And I do feel like it is quite a nice like support because my next thing, ring splints or like finger splints. Um, so I convinced my OT to let me try like finger splints because of the way finger splints are they are are not recommended to be worn more than 20 minutes at a time at least at the beginning and we did some measurements of sort of my hyperextension and my middle fingers both naturally hyperextend when I'm not doing anything so they kind of naturally just sit like this a little bit um and I found as I've been wearing the ring splints god I keep calling them ring splints the finger splints the longer I wear the the finger splints like when I'm doing something the more I feel sort of like not necessarily pain but like discomfort and aching in these middle fingers because they're keeping my fingers straight in that joint where they naturally just always hyperextend. I have found that using this after using these for a while has been quite a nice sort of like support later on <sighs> that's maybe not quite as like heavy duty and that one feels more like a soft support but yeah basically i've been using these more to try them out this is something i enjoy a lot i just really like things that make noise like that enjoyable hee <laughs> hee watch this become a new stim of mine of just like tapping shit where was i <laughs> So I have some clips to show um, of me using, like wearing these whilst doing things with my hands. So um, typing, writing, you know, using cutlery, that sort of shit. Um, and I really have found that they've, they've been really helpful actually, um, because, you know, I'll sit and be using my computer either for like uploading a lot of stuff onto my coffee um, or editing a video for a long period of time or editing an article or typing a lot for i don't know a blog post or what the fuck ever um and my fingers fucking kill after like an hour whereas these really help make it not hurt so much <laughs> which is basically exactly what i was looking for um you know they're not they're not mental illness they're not going to be like you know i'm not going to wear these out places i might take them with me i'm going to use my flare audio like earbud bags to put these in um that's what i've been doing so far um but i might take them out with me in case you know i'm going for dinner or something like that so i can put them on to make using cutlery easier on my hands but otherwise you know i'm not just going to be wearing them out I'm like hey bitch how you doing um but i mean she did also say that i can buy silver ones now we also know what size size to go for um because i'm like a four four five finger splint sizes or whatever um so yeah maybe down the line i will be able to buy some more finger splints that are actually ring splints that maybe would last longer because um i have heard that you know these aren't super durable but they're fine for now you know i haven't paid for them they're mainly just so i can get through certain uh, activities that i would not <laughs> ordinarily be able to do either as much or as easily because literally my wonky fingers affects literally everything i also was told that i am i also hyperextend of this knuckle here which i didn't know um so that was something i learned that was uh new about my wonky hands and yeah like i said i have got exercises that i've been given that i not really been doing i have, a, I have like several booklets of things uh, i will yeah sit down and make a video going through these booklets and maybe talking about notes i've made on those uh the bits of paper i've been given i've also been recommended certain kinds of like pain relief as well so kind of like biofreeze but stronger which is like cool and fine and all but uh, i currently still have 
stuff that I'm getting through, you know, I don't want to just chuck it out or abandon it. I am, uh, I'm gonna keep saying it, I am poor. I don't have a lot of money. I don't make a lot of money. So it would just feel like a waste if I just ditch what I'm, I currently have already bought at some point for something stronger. <laughs> you know, it, it is what it is. It's always difficult where it's like, yeah, I could do with something stronger, but this at least does something for now. We'll see. Um, cause I've currently got like a tub. This is like two products mixed together as well. So this was a hemp active gel, which is, um, kind of like a biofreeze but with hemp in it and then I also mixed in a separate biofreeze because I kind of was halfway through both and I it was annoying me having two different tubs so I was like fuck it I'll just mix them together so there we are that's one that I'm currently using at the moment I also have this spray that I picked up Arnica foam pain relief it's like a weird crackly foam uh, I don't know it's weird it's cold as well so you know we'll see about that I also have these like cooling gel sheets for migraines which are pretty nice when you are like away from home and this is only one of my pairs but like this is one of my two pairs of insoles i have these out because i'm going to take them with me when i go on my trip in a week just in case they are beneficial to possibly put in shoes after like beating my feet up uh walking a bunch but yeah i got those from the podiatrist through the nhs along with my other pair which are still in my high top vans but yeah i think that's kind of it for this video let me know if you have any questions about anything i brought up today unfortunately i have no affiliate links for anything because you know that would be great if i had any kind of affiliate links amazon's affiliate scheme is very weird so, and doesn't really work <laughs> for a lot of people so that's why i've never bothered setting that up but uh yeah if you want to support me check out my coffee leave a donation or join up to the memberships i've set up one's one pound a month and one's 150 the 150 is the book club tier i do have an affiliate with the bookshop where you can help support indie bookshops and me um so all that will be linked down below if you want to buy books you know i have lots of recommendations but i think that's kind of it for this this video Thanks for watching. Leave a like, leave any questions in the comments or let me know if there's anything in particular you think I should look into and try as well. Subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me. I, oh, I have to move before I finish this because my hip hurts. I make a lot of videos around disability, chronic illness and neurodivergence. I recommend you check out my video on why is communication so difficult? communication from a disabled person's point of view i also talk books here as well and queer trans non-binary related things and also sometimes media uh so if any of those things take your fancy subscribe check out some of my other videos that are already up and i will see you in next week's video why have i started doing this is it because i'm by <laughs> Anyway, bye.